Welcome vinyl community. Welcome to edition of Halloween Vinyl Records. Uh, this is kind of a video response from Vinyl New Aid. This is Shad. Uh, he said, hey, let's let's see some of those Halloween related vinyl records. You know, this horror or Halloween, dealing with witches, anything like that. So what I did was I comprised 12 records, as you can see behind me, of Halloween related. There was some more I could have put on there, like like some soundtracks, some Halloween special effects, things like that. But I decided to just to show some really good music with some kind of theme of Halloween. So um, uh, again, Bono New Wave, check out his channel. Uh, he, he's got a very good channel, very knowledgeable about music, and he has some great videos. I subscribe to him, and I recommend you subscribe to him also. So here we go with the video, my friends. I hope you have fun. When I thought of Halloween, this is the very first record that I thought about. I just love the artistic work on this. This is Houdini, The Haunted House of Rock. And this is a uh, promo. It's a green vinyl record. And on here you can see Jai Hill, Ecstasy. That's the two um, MCs on this uh, record right here. They got the microphones. And you look on the back side, really cool, on the, uh, on the stone, on the gate. Gates, it looks like the gates of hell, and it's got 45 RPMs on here. And I waited a little while to get this record. I got some mint, near mint condition. It's a green vinyl record. And as you can see, it's got the, the skull on there. So I thought this was a perfect addition for the uh, Halloween uh, records that I'm going to show for you today. So here we go with Houdini. This one was released back in 83. A lot of people know Houdini from Friends, Five Minutes of Funk, and also uh, Freaks Come Out at Night. That's another one that's kind of an honorably mentioned that I would have showed on here. So, 1983, this one was released. Really good. Let's go with, and of course, we got to show this, Every Day is Halloween by Ministry. Uh, this particular one is the blue jacket i think they had two or three different other colors this one was released back in 85 kind of early uh synth pop kind of uh um ebm industrial kind of mixed together a uh, really good year of music 1985 i like this one a lot uh different places i go to uh if you go to like some some nice restaurants with an 80s theme or different casinos around you know around the nation You'll hear this song right here. Every day is Halloween. Love it. Let's go with the gruesome twosome. Here, a good Halloween theme with the uh, with the skull. This is a uh, hallucination generation. Uh, this particular song right here, I think, was released in '89. More EBM industrial, dark stuff, and. I used to thought this song was called The Sounds of Hell. I did not know it was Hallucination Generation. So it's got like the lyric sounds of hell in there and it's got all the, the crazy sounds like creatures and stuff. But I thought this was a good fitting record for this edition of Halloween. Now to me, no Halloween is complete without this soundtrack right here, The Lost Boys. My favorite song on here is Cry Little Sister. This is the theme. Uh, Gerard, big man. And on here, they got Echo and the Bunny Men. People are strange. This is an iconic release back in 87. Of course, everybody knows the movie. Uh, one of your 80s uh, iconic cult, like uh, vampire movie right here, The Lost Boys. So I thought this was fitting. Let's go with a split second. Rigor Mortis, Split Second, EBM Music. This was their very first track, came out in 87. This one right here, this is fitting. Labak, Symphony for the Devil, right here. Dark stuff. Um, this is not exactly the version I was looking for. The version I was actually looking for was uh, Who Shot the Kennedys. Uh, that's a remix, kind of a, more of a dance. This is dark wave, synth pop, industrial music right here. LeBlanc. I've actually had three other LeBlanc 
Labak Records. I had a, a, a gatefold LP with some uh, lighting on the top. I had uh, one called Life is Life, and I had one called Opus Die, and that was a long time ago. So this one right here, dark stuff. Fitting for Halloween. And I thought about this one too. Dark Wave Synth Pop. This one's called Medusa. This is by a clan of Zymox. And this is actually an LP called Medusa, really dark wave stuff. Uh, I think this one was released back in 86. And of course, uh, Clan of Zymox, they changed their name to Zymox. And they got some really good stuff that came out later, like 87, 88. Twist of Shadows is the name of their LP. I would love to get that one from my collection. By Guy 20. The Bog. Talking about the Bog. Talking about the creature right here. Uh, this one I have, actually I got two different versions. I got this one on the black jacket, then I got the other original version. When I bought this, I went to the record store, and when I pulled it out, I'm like, you know what? Orange vinyl. There we go, my friends. The colors of Halloween, orange and black, right here for By God 20. Another nightmare. Little change of pace right now. More breakbeat techno. It's the Kid Unknown Nightmare, released back in 92. This is off of Warp Records. Got the original purple jacket to go with it. And speaking of Nightmare, we got to show this one. Nightmare on ADE Street, off of Foresight Records. And of course, uh, he gave us a uh, bass mechanic too, and another song called Transformer. Good Miami bass electro music. And this one's released back in 87. But we got one, two more, my friends. And this was, uh, I picked this out for my number 11th record. And in, in this record right here, it's talking about toothless people. It's talking about uh, black is pleasure. And it's just more EBM industrial. Here we got the hunger. And uh, kind of rare these days. This one's called Shock. And I want to say this one came out in 89. And the last record. And I, and I did want to get this for Halloween. It's another split second. This one's called Mambo Witch. I think it was around 88, 89 is the release. Good EBM music. Love the intro in there. It's just so haunting. And it's got the beats and it start and that drum beat starts. And it's got the uh, the lyrics are really kind of dark. So my last record, number 12, would be a split second Mambo Witch. Good stuff. That does it for my Halloween edition of records. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to my channel. And hope you have a safe and happy Halloween.